So here's a quick demo of my carabiner setup. Uh, I've automated it to open up various applications I use in my normal development workflow. And I have programmed it to actually uh, run against my Razer mouse. Um, and I'll show you that in here real quick. So I have this conditional, and this is a uh, project from Max. Um, he really yeah, set up the bones for this and I just forked it and put it into my config. But this will actually generate the JSON that I need to do this stuff. But what I can do is say, you know, if the device input is, you know, one of my, I have different models of the Razer mouse, but if it is this Razer mouse that has, you know, all these buttons, I can um, click it and if I'm in the global context, it'll do something, or if I'm in a specific app, it'll do something. And I'll show a demo of that uh, with my other camera. So here I have my mouse. Um, what I can do, and this is my computer. Uh, this generates the carabiner JSON, um, which would be kind of a pain in the right. So thanks, Max, for setting this up. But so when I, when I hit these buttons, so if I hit one, it'll pop open my browser. If I hit two on my mouse, it'll pop open my uh, terminal. If I hit three, it will pop open VS Code. So here's two, one. So I can toggle really quickly back and forth between my different applications that I'm really using the most. And then I have um, five and six is actually like toggling through tabs. So any, any application that has tabs like Chrome or VS Code or My Terminal, I can actually just page through those. And I think eight is actually close a tab uh, in these various things. And I have this in here. So like, you know, with Carabiner, you can set various conditions to do things if it's within an application. Um, I just set a bunch of these to my mouse buttons and then set the conditions to if I'm in a specific application, make that mouse button do this thing. Uh, you can also do this just with your keyboard. Um, Max had it set up so his caps lock key is like a super global key that activates all these other hotkeys. Um, and that's in this config somewhere as well. But um, yeah, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, if I'm in a, a specific application or if I need to jump to my browser and then flip through tabs or jump to my previous tab, I can do that really quickly with my mouse. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the actual config is in the rules. Um, so I have various conditions. There's the global, uh, I kind of group them together. And then inside of when you run build and the script that Max wrote, it'll spit out the JSON, which is all of your various rules and what have you. Uh, but you can see here, I have all my rules kind of spreading in here. These are my customizations. And then Max set up this hyper sub layer thing that, uh, so if you do caps lock O and then G, it'll open up Chrome, for example. So there's stuff like that. If you're just using the keyboard, uh, it's super nice. If you have a mouse or like a stream deck or whatever, you can program it to do stuff like that as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, that I wanted to show. This is just like my setup right now. Uh, it, it evolves kind of over time with things that I do over and over again that I just want to do really quickly. Um, and I might not have my um, hands on the keyboard, so. Yeah, hope you uh, enjoy this. Uh, Carabiner is a free application and uh, it's pretty sweet. So like inside you can see all of your various rules. I named them so it, uh, you know, I can see what kind of context it's in or if it's a global mouse button click or whatever. So uh, just make sure you name your stuff nicely and it will um, hopefully help you out.